I took my wee C15 for a run up to Glen Glass. I was hoping to get good film of the area round about. The weather wasn't great and of course I had to have another disaster. On the way up to Glen Glass, I've taken you to the Black Rock Gorge and we're on top of one of the bridges above it. I've shown you down it just a minute ago. This was used in the Harry Potter film, The Goblet of Fire, for a small part of the shooting there. There's another bridge, and it's just a wee bit along, we'll head to that, and everything's a bit mucky, it's just been such a wet summer. Time changes things. There used to be a bridge, a good substantial bridge, it was built by the military that went across there. It's gone. So sorry, I can't take you there.
Now you can see my confusion here. I just couldn't understand why heaving the bike up onto its centre stand, it just sort of shot through and wasn't supported. It took me a while to suss out what was going on because I'm pretty stupid. So this put an end to my trip as I'd planned it. I didn't get the film that I wanted. I should really film my disasters, but in my panic, I just hash on home. I did continue to the top of Glenglass. This is as far as the road goes. You used to be able to park here and a wee bit further down, but it's all so inviting now with no parking everywhere. It's a pity. It's probably me just getting old, but the highlands are not what they were. should be seeing Ben Wivis behind me. It's a Monroe, it's above 3,000 feet. But today it's just more or less completely covered in cloud. So, sorry about that. To add to the joys, the rain came on, and also in a wee minute, and I've let this run a bit longer than I normally would, the camera battery ran out. But I hope you saw enough to enjoy Glen Glass, it is a really bonny valley. almost impossible to go out on a C-15 without having some disaster. And my disaster this time is this, the centre stand is broken. You'll notice that unusually for me I've got it on the side stand. It won't go in its centre stand, it just goes right through. On my wee run up Strathglass, I went to put it on the centre stand to take some photos disaster. It just went right through as if there was nothing there. So I'm going to tackle that. It's also, you might 
notice I'm not looking at my usual beautiful self. I've had a minor skin cancer removed, just a, a, a my corner of my eye there. And I'm looking as if I'd been in a bit of a fight, but I'm a, quite a peaceful person. I don't think we've got good focus here, but you'll be able to see the centre stand is just broken there. We'll have to take that off. Right, I've taken the centre stand off the bike and I did pick up the wee bit that fell off by the side of the road. Which goes there with a kind of elongated hole showing its age. But what I found all the time I've been driving about happily, the other side is broken as well. Now, I don't know, is this cast iron or is it forged steel? I just don't know. I'm no expert. I will try welding a repair. And if that doesn't work, I'll buy a new centre stand. Right, this is the side that I thought was still intact and I'm going to try and weld that block of steel onto it and then sand it down to size afterwards. That's that block welded in place. And it seems to have taken the weld. Oh, I'm it off and we'll look at the other side. I, I did V grooves in it so that the weld would penetrate down. So now we'll grind that back. Right, this is what I've ended up with. I'm not a hundred percent happy with the welding. But it does fit. So here's the repaired swinging arm in place. So I'll go on to repairing the other side. So I'm not going to attempt to weld the old bit in place. I'm going to flatten it off and put a plug light on the other side. That is the piece I'm going to use to repair this side. It'll not be perfect, but it'll do. And I've machined, or not machined, I've cut a groove so that it'll fill up with weld to allow the penetration to be right down. Right, this is me finished. I've taken hours grinding to get the angle right that it lies against when it's at rest and when it's on the stand. It's the best I can do. So I'm going to fit it onto the bike, take it back off and then paint it. Now here is the repaired stand fitted to the bike and it seems to work.
quite well. So as long as the welding holds, it should do. Done. Well, there it is with a wee bit of a lick of paint, but it's almost as good as new. Actually, since yesterday, I sanded a wee bit more off or ground a wee bit more off the heels to try and just make it rock that bit further over as I pull it onto the center stand. I'm going to fit it back on now.